One way to assign math homework in Canvas is to use quizzes made up of essay questions. Teachers can then create questions in the equation editor and students can generate formatted math answers. Grading such quizzes, however, can be time consuming. This video introduces QuizWiz to make this process more efficient. Here is a quiz consisting of 10 essay questions of varying point values, totaling 20 points. Each answer must be graded manually which can be done using SpeedGrader. The first answer is correct and deserves full marks, which is one point and takes one click of the up arrow. The second answer is wrong, but it takes two clicks of the arrows to assign zero points. The next answer deserves three points out of three, but if you click on the up arrow for too long, you might overshoot and then resort to typing in a three. Let's add a comment complimenting the student for including the quadratic formula. you might find it necessary to widen the comment box. This answer is quite lengthy. After reading through it and deciding to award four out of five points, you must scroll back to the beginning of the question to enter the score. Click four times and then scroll forward to the next question. This answer deserves one point, one click. Two clicks for a zero. This deserves two out of three points, two clicks. The last three questions were not answered. It takes two clicks each to assign zeros. One final click for a total of 22 updates the scores. Since most students deserve most points on most questions, many teachers assign grades by deducting points from any answer that does not deserve full credit. Subtracting the sum of all such deductions from the total possible points for that assignment. To mimic this workflow, James Jones and Avi Naiman have created QuizWiz, a JavaScript enhancement to SpeedGrader. Let's see how QuizWiz makes grading this quiz more efficient. Before you begin to grade a student's submission, QuizWiz indicates that there are three essay questions that have not been attempted and seven that have been answered but require manual grading. Clicking the first button assigns zeros to the unanswered questions while clicking the second button assigns full points to the answered questions. The buttons then become disabled to show that they have already been triggered. Now you simply have to deduct points from those answers that do not deserve full credit. The first answer is correct, so no clicks of the arrows are needed. The second answer is incorrect but now it takes only one click to assign a zero. The next answer deserves the full three points, which have already been assigned. And when you start typing in the comment box, QuizWiz automatically expands it. 
This long answer deserves four out of five points. As QuizWiz has duplicated the point box at the end of the answer, there is no need to scroll back to the beginning of the question. Furthermore, only one point needs to be deducted rather than having to assign four points. No clicks are needed for this one point answer. Only one click is needed for this incorrect answer. This answer deserves two out of three points. Note that the point boxes remain synchronized at all times. The final three questions were not attempted. QuizWiz has already assigned them scores of zero, so there is no need to make any further adjustments. Don't forget to update the scores before moving on to the next student. Overall, instead of 22 clicks using SpeedGrader, QuizWiz required only 7 clicks to set the final score to 11 points. Furthermore, typing in comments was more convenient and scrolling was minimized. QuizWiz can also be configured to perform its tasks automatically upon entry into a student's quiz answers, assigning zeros to all unanswered questions and full points to all attempted answers, without the need to click QuizWiz's buttons. This quiz now requires only five clicks to grade manually. When using QuizWiz to grade six math quizzes, each taken by 50 students, we have experienced a 75% reduction in grading time. QuizWiz also offers alternative grading schemes for multi-part quiz questions. Please see the QuizWiz documentation for details and stay tuned for more Canvancements.